Hello. Before we start, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Stuart Scott. I am one of the trainers here at Cloud Academy, specializing in AWS. Compute is a large element of the AWS infrastructure, and it's likely to be one of the first service types that you will use, or are already using. There are a number of foundation services that AWS is built upon, Compute being one of them, in addition to storage, database, and network. The Elastic Container Registry service, known as ECR. This service links closely with the EC2 container service, as it provides a secure location to store and manage your Docker images that can be distributed and deployed across your applications. This is a fully managed service, and as a result, you do not need to provision any infrastructure to allow you to create this registry of Docker images. This is all provisioned and managed by AWS. This service is primarily used by developers, allowing them to push, pull, and manage their library of Docker images in a central and secure location. To understand the service better, let's look at some of the components used. These being the registry, authorization token, repository, repository policy, and image. Let's take a look at the registry first. The ECR registry is the object that allows you to host and store your Docker images in, as well as create image repositories. Within your AWS account, you will be provided with a default registry. When your registry is created, then by default the URL for the registry is as follows, where you will need to replace the red text with your own information that's applicable to your account and region. Your account will have both read and write access by default to any images you create within the registry and any repositories. Access to your registry and images can be controlled via IAM policies in addition to repository policies as well to enforce tighter and stricter security controls. As the Docker command line interface doesn't support the different AWS authentication methods that are used, then before your Docker client can access your registry, it needs to be authenticated as an AWS user, which will then allow your client to both push and pull images. And this is done by using an authorization token. To begin the authorization process to allow your Docker client to communicate with your default registry, you can run the get login command using the AWS CLI as shown where the red text should be replaced with your own region. This will then produce an output response, which will be a Docker login command. You must then copy this command and paste it into your Docker terminal, which will then authenticate your client and associate a Docker CLI to your default registry. This process produces an authorization token that can be used within the registry for 12 hours, at which point you will need to re-authenticate by following the same process. The repository are objects within your registry that allow you to group together and secure different Docker images. You can create multiple repositories with the registry, allowing you to organize and manage your Docker images into different categories. Using policies from both IAM and repository policies, you can assign set permissions to each repository, allowing specific users to perform certain actions, such as performing a push or pull API. As I just mentioned, you can control access to your repositories and images using both IAM policies and repository policies. There are a number of different IAM managed policies to help you control access to ECR, these being the three shown on the screen. For more information on IAM and policies, please refer to our existing course here, which covers IAM and policy creation and management. Repository policies are resource-based policies, which means you need to ensure you add a principle to the policy to determine who has access and what permissions they have. It's important to be aware of that for an AWS user to gain access to the registry, they will require access to the ECR Get Authorization Token API call. Once they have this access, repository policies can control what actions those users can perform on each of the repositories. These resource-based policies are created within ECR itself and within each of the repositories that you have. Once you have configured your registry, repositories and security controls and authenticated your Docker client with ECR, you can then begin storing your Docker images in the required repositories, ready to then pull down again as and when required. To push an image into ECR, you can use the docker push command and to retrieve an image, you can use the docker pull command. For more information on how to form both a push and a pull of images, please see the following links. Now we have a clear understanding of what is required, let's get started with the training. 